Good morning. We are back with a new video for you on the Standard American YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name's Jeremy. I pretty much do everything outdoors and everything that has to do with four wheel drives, mainly Toyotas. So you haven't seen this one before. This is my buddy Jeff's. So he just inherited it, this clean, 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 clean Gen 2. Very clean. And he gave it to me, said the motor's apart. We had some people doing doing a, a head gasket and then it messed up and then just a whole bunch of crap. So I took delivery of it a few days ago. Look how clean this thing is. All stock. I'll give you a little tour. Oh, the doors are unlocked, that would help, huh? I'll give you a little tour of this thing. It is. 95% immaculate, just little cracks here and there, just wear and tear. This can come off. Yeah, it's really kind of dark in here. But tan leather, everything. This thing is a peach. And he told me, he goes, the previous owner, he goes, oh, the motor's gone. It's, it's a total loss. I'm gonna scrap it. <laughs> I don't think so, bud. Yeah, look at that. Thing is just immaculate. Every factory option closes nice. Listen to that. Closes nice. Man, it is the factory auto four wheel drive. So what's wrong with it is, like like I said, the head gasket was done and then it started misfiring and which i think i found the problem on that and it started just messing up and so a park got impounded because the non-op expired and so he went and got it out and brought it up to me he goes all right do your thing and i said no problem i got you and this thing has 186,000 miles on it <clears throat> a four-wheel drive doesn't work um a few other things messed up on it. I think, uh, what I think, I think a couple of O2 sensors are bad. So what I'm doing, so I'm just giving it, uh, pulled everything off, pulled all the injectors. I'm getting new, I'm gonna redo those, the pins and connectors. That's just, that's just janky. I think that that's what his problem was. The injectors shorten himself out. So I, I think that's what, uh, one of the fuel codes was that and he had five of the 220s uh, and then he had one 200 cc injector so one cylinder was getting shorted fuel so i have no idea what's going on so we're going to put all 200 cc injectors back in all the factory ones and we're giving them a new timing belt water pump new uh new idlers new tensioners new water pump and the only thing we do here we use factory parts I'm a big stickler, stickler for that. So, and they're a little bit more expensive, but he understands. So we got them. Uh-huh. Got a nice kit, a timing belt water pump kit. Believe it or not, you can get these off Amazon. Tensioner, hazing, of course. Yes, sir. We got monster tensioner, factory Asian hazing tensioner. That's all that matters, right there. All right, so we got up oh, our gaskets, got a water pump. This should be your idler. Yes, sir. There you go. And this kit wasn't too bad. For everything, it was about 220. And that's right there. Coil bearings, which is, by the way, also 
the only bearing I put in my axles on my personal uh, personal four-wheel drive. Either coil bearings or nothing. None of that cheap AutoZone crap. So yeah, this, of course, it's getting, there still has all of its original parts. Look how clean this thing is. This is the factory throttle body I took off. You just, no, the outside housing. This thing is such a, such a gem. Even the factory rubber, this is original. He said he never bought another one of these elbows and this is the first thing to go bad on these things, right here. And he asked me, you know, what do I recommend? Cause I've ran this motor, this truck, I've had mine for, you know, ever. And, you know, he asked me, you know, what do I recommend him getting? And I said, well, since you got an auto, the, the friggin' auto sucks up so much power, sucks up so much heat, it's ridiculous. I'm surprised Toyota even used them. But I said, get a big freaking radiator. So this is the same exact radiator I run on mine. And of course it has, you know, the factory cooler for the, the auto trainees go through the uh, transmission for, the, for their cooler, which is another reason why I don't like them. Um, but, you know, tell them get a big old radiator and you'll never have a problem wheeling this thing ever, which he's going to do mildly. He lives over uh, in a heavy populated area, so he's kind of kind of city-ish. He's going to school right now, so it's going to be driven in the city, and that's pretty much it. And it's going to be lifted. Uh, FJ coils are going in the back, ball joint spacer, spacer, and a torsion bar crank in the front. I think it should give it about a five inch lift. And we're going to keep the factory wheels, which I told them to do that because these things, I mean, personally, I like them. I love the 90s, 90s look. So these factory wheels, and they're going to be on 32s. I think these are 30s, 30s, 29s? These are 31s. So we might go, might go to 32s, 33s, uh, depending on how much that lift that we get from uh, the FJ coils and the ball joint space. So, yep. Just want to give you guys a introduction to this gorgeous little thing. A new build here, and we are. Still working on the property. It's just been raining real crappy weather, as you can tell. And I don't have my shop built yet, so it's kind of hard. So we're getting it done the best way we can. All right. So if you like what we're doing on here, and if you're excited to see the build of this thing, slow progress, which will be in another video, hit subscribe, like, comment. <clears throat> really helps us out. And yeah, stay tuned for another video. Have a good one.